I mean, the, the thing about rugby to remember, um, just just one thing to remember: if you, you go, it, it hurts. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Oh. I wonder what Mike's hard lemonade sells to has me doing this time. Oh, it's been really good until the burpees. Oh, no! Let's go to work. All right, so last night I got a text and said, 8 a.m., be ready for a pickup. Destination unknown. Sounds like it's going to be a one-day trip. They told me to bring out RD Pros. Hopefully it's not a 50-kilometer trail race, because that would be uh, miserable. And we'll see what it is. Wow, stay up all night. See you on this. Around eight o'clock at my front door, I got my first clue, which was a poem. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole. I think whatever gods may be from my unconquerable soul. At the time, it was like a lot of, I wouldn't say gibberish, but I didn't understand what it meant. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. It's kind of like this poem about, you know, being like un unconquerable. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Head to Brookfield Place Terminal and take the next ferry to Paula's Hook. Oh. It's a long ass poem. This is the first challenge that I've gone into not knowing anything about anything. So I was truly going in blind. Oh yeah. The Good boys morning. are back in town. I, I googled Invictus. Right, Invictus, unconquerable or undefeated in Latin. I, I googled where we were going. Oh, there was a battle of Paulus Hook? That's cool. Is that a paintball battle? <laughs> so I remember I was like guessing what was going on. Let's see, Paulus Hook. Is that where that big ass mall is that has indoor snowboarding? We ride at dawn, bitches. Yo, we're at Brookfield Place Terminal. We're gonna hop on the ferry, go to, what's it called? Paulus Hook, which is in Jersey. There's a, uh, there's a taqueria near there. So that's exciting. Good morning, how are you? Can I get one ticket to Paula's Hook? Laser tag? The Northeast is so confusing to me just geographically. I thought New York was the Northeastern tip of America until like a year ago. Should ruin something fun. Arrive in Paula's Hook. The next clue is delivered by one of my favorite people in the world, John. Trevor, sir, here is your right, second clue. Go. Oh, it's big. I'll just. Oh. Am I gonna fucking fight somebody? Oh, God. That's good. All right, we got a mouth guard. You'll need this. Head to Barry Lake Park. Barry, Barry Lane Park. I have switched from a happy fun day of maybe skydiving to me getting punched in the face. So I thought at that time I was gonna go toe to toe with some sort of MMA guy and just break my face. Uh, again, Sean kept saying you're overthinking it. Okay, I need to underthink it. Mouthpiece means I will probably get hit in the face with something. Football? Invictus is a brand. I'm on to something here. He's like, just Google Invictus again, right? What are the first things that come up? Oh, it's a cannabis company. All right, so they have clothes. It's like a CrossFit brand. There's a movie called Invictus. About rugby, who would have thought? So we're probably gonna play rugby. I've never played rugby before. There's gotta be a hospital close by, we'll be fine. Oh. I just googled all the rugby players on the team and they're all more jacked than me. What's my insurance policy on this show? I think this is one of the guys on the team. He's walking up. Hey, nice to meet you, man. All of them. Shoulders are common. Yeah. Beating up your face is common. I just asked what the most common injuries were. It's Broken noses and stuff. Great. Screwed up ears. Just neck down. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Things just... like that. That's, that's a lot more common than I know. So we get to the park, I see a bunch of jack dudes. They're all very big, they all look very fast, and I'm pretty sure they're all more fit than me. Got a little bit anxious. Again, these guys, this is what they do for a living. I haven't taken a hit in years. So we get there, we get a chance to meet Rick. What's up, man? Trevor. He's pretty dry. Couldn't remember my name. This is John. Philip. Um, I can't remember your name, sorry. He, he kind of gave me the rundown of what rugby is, the rules. Yeah, mate, don't, don't get hurt. Yeah. You're, you're only little. Hit in five seconds. Yeah, call me little. So, okay. so this is the Rugby United New York practice. I'm sort of the boss. 
What have you got to offer? <laughs> Based off the people here, I have to offer maybe like a water boy slot. Yeah, well, they, it's a even your water boys are pretty juiced. So what we'll do is we'll just try some of the different positions. When these guys have finished smashing each other, okay. um, we'll get them to smash you. And um, yeah, yeah. And then um, have we got medical and stuff for you? That's right. It's just a name. Samu. So um, Samu is uh, he's called a prop. Okay. Like a lineman in, in, in American football, and he's just going to ease you into rugby, okay? Ease. So just destroy him, all right? Okay. <laughs> so that's the position of the starting? No, you, you'd be opposite me. Yeah. And then we go crutch, and we go down. And we ran through some of the techniques. I didn't feel like I could move him if like my life depended on it. And then sit. Shoulder down, and then go through. Nice, like yeah. an immovable object. Yeah. And then push. Just do it. Push. Nice. And then. Ah. <laughs> You just tried the Fords thing, and yeah, yeah. that's obviously not you. Wasn't it's, a good idea. No, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I got to use some of the backs. These but these two guys are the backs. What's up, man? Trevor. I felt more comfortable and confident with the back stuff because I understood the mechanics of it a little bit better. There's basically like two ways. You either spin pass, which is like the right hand is your dominant hand. Right. So we ran through some passes, ran through some little drills of like touches and stuff like that. There we go. Oh, okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought. And then we were like, you know what? Let's just freaking go. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, let's go. Based on the survival rate, we'll work out where you should be playing. Okay. And the coach is like, what's the liability risk of us killing this kid on the field? That's how I'm imagining this conversation going. I just want to um, introduce uh, uh, Philip. Phil just wants to learn about being a rugby player. Boards, you know, maybe let's start with the line out. Chuck him up, see how he goes. All right, have fun. Phillip's <laughs> Philip's gonna go up in there, hopefully get this ball back. I think we ended in a score. I think I crossed the goal line and people cheered. Oh, <laughs> and it felt pretty good. I thought it was fun. You know, just get out there and run, like catch the ball, throw, whatnot. And in my mind, I was like, you know what? This is where I'm gonna show them what I'm made of. And I was gonna like juke and do like a fake pass. And then I just got freaking waylaid. It was like a WWE move. It was like planting a small tree, me being the tree. <laughs> yeah, what was going through my mind as I was getting picked up and put down like a small child in his father's arms was, this is probably gonna hurt when I land. Good, I'm alive, let's fucking go. Run it back. Hey, John, Phil. I don't need dental insurance. Yeah, put that on invoice. Fake veneers. Potatoes. <laughs> so you're still standing, so we got one yeah. more for you. Oh, let's do it. Yeah. We call this the gauntlet. Okay. Cool. So we're going to get a demo here and then you'll jump in after. Okay, okay. cool. Right. The gauntlet. That shit's hardcore. <laughs> Look, they have one person in the middle. And like, was like six guys around, I think. Um, and each one has like a big uh, like Muay Thai pad. Like... And you got to do 20 tackles. Anyway, but I don't know how to tackle. I've tackled. Right, let's go cheek to cheek. Hey. Oh. So, I mean, roll a clip. <laughs> it went as expected. Probably the hardest thing of the day. Uh, shit! Fuck! This boy's big. I would have a heart attack at these practices. 100%. You guys are fucking badass. It's different than like a tr like a long run, because it's like you got to be just like laser sharp at all times. Just like in the Spartan race, just like anything else. Like I want to go against elites in their respective field. 
It's like, how else would you measure yourself, you know? I never go against elite athletes in anything. Um, that's why I'm here, we're here to do hard shit. You know what I mean? We're here to try just random shit. Do I tell him he's gotta be in line with me when I kick it? I personally thought the rugby experience was great. I really enjoyed it. Again, I, I, I love competitive atmospheres in sports, right? And that's a sport that I've never had a chance to play. My bad. Ah, shit. And so being able to, again, get out there with like some elite level athletes in that respective sport, it's always fun. Get this up. I consider myself a decent athlete, you know, but they're just on a whole other level. You got a killer leg, brother. Yeah. What position do you can you play? Out here? Yeah. Somewhere in the back. Like a wing, yeah. I'm not big and strong. And I had respect for rugby, now I even I just have more respect. You know, there's just a more abundance of it. You should say something now, like uh, you want them to meet you out there on the Spartan course. And I uh, suck at that shit too. All right, quick recap on the day. Came out here, did some rugby stuff. Yo, these guys are elite athletes. They're fast, they're strong, and they are powerful. So it was a good time. Um, now it's time to cool off and celebrate. Let's fucking go. Got in my eye. <laughs> you thought. Let's go see each other. Nice. Yeah, Shadius. <laughs> Hold the line. <laughs>